Hello everyone, today we have an Asus VivoBook S15. I'm going to show you the device model name here. The problem is this laptop won't boot up and stuck in Asus boot screen logo. Uh, I'm going, going to show you yeah it's stuck right here and uh, it is interesting that it won't even get into the bias environment so in this case i have two guesses the first one is maybe an io device like uh, hdd or ssd uh, input output device is not being recognized by the bios so it fails to boot up and it also fails to boot into BIOS environment itself. And the second guess is the BIOS itself is damaged. So we are going to open this laptop uh, to look out for the problem. When you are opening the bottom cover, just pay attention that other than these screws which are located around the corners, as you can see, there are two more screws to, un to be unscrewed underneath these rubber feet. Now I have opened the back case. Uh, sorry if my desk is a mess. Uh, I haven't been here for a while so I didn't have the time to organize it. You can see the RAM module here, uh, one slot is empty, CPU, the battery cells, and we have one hard disk drive, and the M2 SSD slot is empty, so just we have a hard, hard disk drive, and we are going to take it out and see if the problem is still there. Also, we have a dedicated graphic card right here. Well, my friends, I have detached the hard disk drive uh, from the laptop, which was installed using these screws. I'm going to show you beneath of the laptop, which you can see the empty space of the HDD. I've also uh, cleaned the dust from the fan and motherboard. I'm going to start it up right now to see where it goes. Backlight, boot logo, and yes, it enters successfully into the BIOS environment. So uh, now we know that uh, the HDD was causing this issue. Um, I'm going to test it uh, as an external drive to see uh, how is the health situation with this hard disk drive. So I have removed the HDD from its protective cover or chassis. And you can see it is a Seagate mobile HDD one terabyte, uh, which in my experience, it is a very probable to fail HDD in the market. Now uh, I'm going to connect it using my converter cable, which is a SATA to USB 3. And we will see if Windows uh, can recognize it as an external drive or not. Okay. Oh. The detection sound. Let's check it in my computer. Nothing has appeared here yet. I don't have it in my devices. Let's check device manager. No, we don't have it here too. And let's check the disk management. 
no there is no sign of the HDD here too so we can make sure that the hard disk drive is definitely faulty and we should send it to a recovery center thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video hit the like button